Hey guys! Recently, a few weeks ago, I went to do a DEXA scan and I had done a DEXA scan four years ago and wanted to compare and see if the results had changed and if they had changed, what had changed. So DEXA scans are great because they measure fat mass in grams, lean mass as well, total mass, your percentage fat, so your body fat percentage, and also talks about things like your BMI, but nowadays BMI, you know, is quite skewed. Um, it doesn't really reflect the type of lifestyle you have. You can be classed as overweight because, because you have a lot of muscle mass, which weighs a lot more. So it doesn't really reflect your health that much. Um, and that's, for Dex that's why DEXA scan is quite cool because it also gives you a lot of extra information uh, with regards to your fat and muscle mass and which parts of your body um, hold more or less of that. It's like a three minute scan. It looks a bit like an MRI scan where they give you a gown and you sort of lie down on it and it, it just goes over your body like beep, beep. Um, it only takes three minutes, but the consultation is around an hour, so you get time with the healthcare professional to speak about your results because you just get blasted, all these numbers come out, and this really like weird and actually really unflattering picture of you. I like big butts making that lie. Obviously, because I had done one four years ago and my lifestyle was quite different, I was interested to do the same test again just to see if anything had changed um, and to narrow down the variability i just made sure i did the same test again in the same place um with exactly the same protocols as four years ago i even i didn't realize but i even did the test in the same month i did them both in february i don't i don't really have body goals i'm quite happy in what i look like now so it's not the end of the world although i do get happy sometimes when i can see a bit of a pump you know i can see a little bit of when i flex and, and feel strong so i've got them right here with me um when I did this scan in February 2018, I had 34.5% body fat and I now have 30% body fat. So that's a nice 4.5% drop. And um, you can see some more stats here that I'm showing you. Um, if we look at total fat mass results, I was quite happy with this. I did do some extra maths to find the percentage, uh, but you can see here in grams, um, the amount of fat I had, the amount of fat I had when I was 27. So four years ago and now um, 31 and the test that I did a few weeks ago. And you can see here I've written that I've dropped 2.7 kilograms of actual fat, supposedly from this test. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Um, as well as that with my total lean mass, so I guess my muscle mass has increased here by 1.7%. So you can see again the lean, um, the lean mass and what I had in 2018 and what I have now in 2022. So I've almost decreased as much, well, yeah, to, um, almost three, gra three kilograms of fat have gone and, and almost two kilograms of lean mass I've put on. So I'm really happy with that. Um, there's also smaller stats that have changed along the way. So you can see here a graph of my total body percentage fat and what I had and what I have now. Um, and we also have these really cringy uh, DEXA scans, DEXA body scans of your actual body. But um, yeah, as you can see here, I store most of my fat in the, uh, the bottom half of my body, <laughs> um, which is quite typical for women, but I think I'm quite extreme because I've always had a very, very tiny torso. Um, I always joke with my friends that my stomach must live in my butt. <laughs> like one of the reasons I think I'm really happy with that is like I've said, it's never been about body weight. It's been, you know, or, or really how I look, it's been about um, achieving goals in fitness. And then all of this stuff is a byproduct of the weight training that I do. So I found this chart particularly interesting. It shows you the female percentile tables, and this is an amalgamation of, it says, around 4,000 female body scan clients um, with a medium age is between 26 to 54, and just where you sit on the scale. So if you see here on the top, um, there's a color scheme from uh, one to 99, 99 the red kind of the redder the um the the columns are the worse i think and um, the blue is good so the percentage of um body mat body fat to um muscle mass is important and not just taking uh my weight as a whole because i'm a smaller person anyway so even if i had a bigger ratio of muscle mass to body fat it's still going to be in the lower um the lower side of the spectrum of muscle mass just compared to other people who are bigger than me. So, so yeah, I've essentially had a body recomposition and 
I still, I still love cardio very much. It's still a very big part of what I do. I wouldn't say my diet has changed at all, to be honest. Um, so I'm quite surprised at the results, but also not surprised. My weight hasn't really changed. Okay, I dropped a kilo in four years. That's not remarkable in any way. Um, because my diet hasn't changed a lot. And so if your sole purpose is to lose weight, then I think it is really an 80-20 split, to be honest, 80% um, being diet and 20% being um, your exercise. <laughs>
the movement and exercise that I incorporate in my daily life. And I don't think my body shape or body in general has changed that much. I mean, when you get to my age, now that I'm in my 30s, it's quite a good thing, right? If your body doesn't change, um, if you were happy with how it looked like in your 20s. So I'm happy with that. If it doesn't want to change anymore, I'm fine. You know, um, it's, I'd be so happy if I looked like this when I'm 40, 50. Sometimes I feel that um, progress can be really slow. And especially if your one of your goals is um, losing weight um, or changing the way your body looks. I think nowadays it's slightly stigmatized, you know, it's all about, no, no, you've got to love your body and accept yourself. They're not mutually exclusive. You can still love your body, but want to um, train more and have aesthetic goals. I don't think that's bad. These results only reflect a uh, change in my workout regime. They don't reflect a change in diet because like I said, my diet's exactly the same. I've always eaten like a horse for all my life. Um, so I guess if you wanted a more dramatic effect, you'd have to change your diet. This type of uh, DEXA scan is becoming more and more popular because we live in a world nowadays where lots of people have Apple watches or Fitbits like I have. You know, I've walked, what have I done today? Well, it's upside down for you guys. I mean, it's reflected, but uh, well, it says I've done over 21,000 steps um, and it's the middle of the day, so I'm pretty happy with that. But yeah, I think we live in a world that uh, where we value um, numbers more and more. You know, everyone wants to get their step count in nowadays or people are interested to see how many hours they sleep a night. P.S. I have terrible insomnia. that interesting and I don't know what my arm isn't there. And yeah, I guess uh, we'll meet again in four years. Yeah, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different from the other ones. I'll get back to the challenges in the next video. Anyway, hope you're having a nice day and catch you in the next video.